If you're watching this video, it's not for dogs, it's for hair stuff. But Deet says hi. Hello! <laughs> Say hi, BT. Say hi! Okay, I'll put you down. So like I said, if you're watching this video, you're here for a hair tutorial and I am going to show how I have been using these hot rollers by Remington. I actually just bought them this week and bought them on Wednesday, no, bought them on Tuesday, bought them on Tuesday, used them on Wednesday, and I liked how they looked, so I'm gonna show how I did it on Wednesday. Side note, every Wednesday for work, I curl my hair. I just like the routine of doing it. So I've been looking for different ways to curl it so that it has one, more body in it because I have very flat laying hair. So one, I wanted more body. And two, I wanted the curls to look a specific way. I just don't know if I found the, the way that I like it, but yeah. So every week that I do my hair, um, I wait until Wednesday. I don't wash my hair every night. So on Sundays, I wash my hair. Sunday I wash my hair. Monday and Tuesday when I go to work, I blow dry it straight. Then on Wednesdays, I curl my hair. And I never curl my hair when it's clean because then it really doesn't stay. So on Wednesdays when I'm doing my hair, first thing I do in the morning when I get up before I go to work is I'll put dry shampoo in so any little bit of oil or anything is kind of soaked up. And I've been using this argan oil and it's pretty nice. I haven't really found a dry shampoo that I like a lot. This one is nice and it doesn't have a weird smell. It doesn't leave a white film in my hair. So I've already put it in my hair, but I'm going to put it in again just to show that it doesn't leave anything. So, and I'll flip over to this side. Didn't leave any film. Go look at the back. There's no film. So I like that. Works out nice. So after I do that, I always section my hair no matter how I'm curling it. And this video is going to be like a series of three. So I'm going to show the three separate ways that I curl my hair. So I'll go ahead and section my hair off because on Wednesday when I tried it, tried these hot rollers, and I did in section, I just started from the top, I used every single roller. And then I tried again throughout the day just to see if it would work different. And I sectioned it and I used less and I liked the outcome slightly better. So these have been heating up for about 10 minutes now. The box says that it only takes 90 seconds, but might as well just leave it on there a little bit longer. It's fine. So these Remington curlers, actually, it's a set of 20. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 20, it's a set of 20. You get, three, six. You get 12 medium-sized or large rollers, which are, I can tear it off here really quick. So it looks like this. These are the big rollers. They're that big. I'll tear off one of the smaller ones. You get 12 of the medium sized and then eight of the small size. So that's a comparison. And they actually turn really big curls, which is really nice. So don't be, if you end up buying this set or if you already have this set, don't be worried that it's going to give you really tight curls. They're going to be big and bouncy. So I'll just use the small ones on this bottom section. And I'm gonna keep brushing everything out like a lot. So every section that I pull up, I'm going to brush out. So I'm taking this small one first, taking the clip off, putting it about halfway up, rolling around it, making sure it's all flat. And then 
rolling up and putting it right against the scalp. Flip it in. And these will fall just like a little bit, not a lot. And most people who use rollers probably use their rollers all in the same direction, but that just makes my hair stick together really bad at the bottom and it makes it look even thinner than it is when it's curled. So I'm going to try to do alternating sections or alternating directions and see if I like that result any better. So these are actually pretty good sized chunks. When I'm normally curling my hair, I wouldn't take a section this big. But with these, the rollers I'm gonna leave in for a while. So it's fine. So this time I'm going to wrap this way. And then curl up. And if they're not, you know, perfectly rolled, it's not a big deal, I guess. You can always fix your hair any different way you want. Take the third one, third small one, go back to the original direction. That's the bottom section. You only have to do three or four sections because I'll do this bottom layer, one more layer over here, and then I'll go down the middle like a mohawk and I'll see what has to be folded after that. Go ahead and brush this section out again even though I know I've already brushed it. Piece of mind. my hair is thin-ish, but I'm taking a pretty wide section. Go back in with another small one. The pieces that are closest to my face, I always have them turning away, no matter how I curl my hair. That way it's framing. Now my biggest concern before I started using rollers was, especially with clips like these, I always worried that there would be like indents. And there are, when you first take them out, you will see little indentations from the clip or from pieces of the actual roller, but those go away. Or you could always just use another curling iron or a straightener or something to kind of buff it out. But I didn't notice it earlier this week when I did it. You can see this one kind of flops down a little bit, but that's because I rolled it in the opposite direction. I'm a little bit hanging out. You can't even see it really. Judge how big this section is. Just for fun, I'm gonna take one of these big ones and do this back section. too much or get super clean sections, but it's okay. So 
for this middle section front part. I use these big ones, wrapping away from the face. So these ones fall too, because I'm not getting as close to the scalp as I want to. Then there's two more sections in here. Use the small one again if I have any more. This one into the face. So the process of curling your hair this way, I think is quicker in the sense of actually getting the curls done. But I, the last time I did this, so last Wednesday when I did it, I let my hair sit for an hour while I was at work. That way I would know that the curls would stick. It would still lasted a long time and had a lot of volume throughout the day, at least on top. Okay. Last section. Okay. So take a fairly large chunk. I'm gonna straighten it out maybe. Yeah, if I had done a section any bigger than this, the ends would have been like flooping out. So, here we go. Then I just keep working my way back. And the top section, since my part, like I have a very hard part on this side, I roll them all in the same way so that they'll fall the same way on this side. We have this one little piece left. Ugh. There. So for me on Wednesday, uh, I did my hair first and then tried to do my makeup, but it was a little bit difficult for me to try and maneuver around my hair and all of that stuff. So the next time I do this at work, I'll probably do my makeup first, or at least my you know face, and then I'll save my eyes for after I do my hair. But if you're just going out or anything like that, 
you could easily just do your hair up and then do your makeup. That way you have time to let it sit. Or if you're going to be going out in like a while, like not immediately, then it could sit for that time. But for me, it's obviously the weekend, so I'm just gonna go watch Law & Order SVU for an hour and then come back, take this out, and go from there. All right, so it's been about, it's almost been an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I went ahead and sprayed hairspray over the curls. Now I'll just take them out in the order that I had put them in, or roughly the order I put them in. So starting over here. Yeah, like super bouncy. Super, super, super bouncy. So I'm going to run my fingers through it once, just to kind of break everything apart, and then probably just use a comb. But look at all of the volume on top saw my hair when it was just straight. It was like to my scalp. So I'm just going to use a comb now. Wide mouth one or wide tooth. And just now I'm just gonna use some more of the dry shampoo to give a little more kind of grit. So maybe it'll stay longer. You can see there are like little indents, but this is typically where I would just use like the rat tail comb to tease things out and smooth. And then if it still looked like there was an indent, just a little bit of hairspray, spray everything, get it kind of wet with hairspray, and then just comb it down. But yeah, this is going to be the final look for today. I know I said not to touch it, but I am because old habits die hard. And I'll attach a picture of the hair that I had on Wednesday so you can see the final product. But yeah, I think this is a really perfect way to get the kind of widely known news anchor hairstyle where it's like super full up top and really nice big kind of bouncy curls instead of tight ringlets and in a few hours this is going to wear down especially now that it's raining outside it's going to wear down and be a lot more kind of natural for just an everyday look but honestly i would wear this as an everyday look if i was super fancy but as you can tell, I'm at home in my gator shirt and jeans hanging out with the dog, so this is totally out of my norm. But yeah, so hopefully over the next two weeks I'll be able to do more of um, tutorial type things for the ways that I do my hair at work. So I curl my hair with these rollers, which I just started doing obviously. I use the bigger barrel that I told you about and the smaller barrel. So I'll do those two videos and then maybe show you a video of how I straighten my hair for work with a blow dryer. And yeah, 
So if there's any kind of content that you guys want to see or you think is interesting, things you want to know about my job or what I do at work on a day-to-day -day basis, comment down below, like everything, share with people, and we'll keep going. So say bye, Deetzy. Say bye. See you guys next time.